Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Belmont Park here on Wednesday. It is July the 3rd, 2019. I'm going to look at the 7th race from Belmont, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKit5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and join me this week for some more Belmont previews. It's the Stars and Stripes Festival begins tomorrow, and it goes through Sunday, and there's some good racing at Belmont. And also join me on Saturday for the Eclipse from San down for one of the major group ones in England of the year, and it's the return of an able, so join me for that. But let's get to the seventh race from Belmont, which could be a stakes race. It's a very good race. The seventh race from Belmont, it's Lowe's Optional Claimer, purse $87,000 race for three-year-olds and upwards, number one 10,000 three times of the main claim starter, or she never won a state bird allowance race, which never won four races, or she never won 3,500 once other than maiden claiming starter state bird allowance race, or an optional claim price of 100000 we have a field of eight horses. The one and eight are both main track only, so six very good horses will go to the inner turf course. The distance of ground of 1,700 meters, or the distance of ground of a mile and one sixteenth on that inner turf course, 1,700, a mile sixteenth. And uh, we did get some rain on Wednesday evening, and uh, you know, but uh, excuse me, Tuesday evening. But with all the with all the dry weather we've been having lately, um, it, it was a welcome sign, and uh, the ground should be you know, decent today. Uh, but the top selection here, I'm going to go with three horse Noble Indy. I'm going to go three, five, two, six in the Super Facto. Three, five, two, six, super. Top selection, three horse Noble Indy. This four year old gallon by Take Charge Indy. Uh, Tom Patrick trains. Jose Ortiz gets the leg up. The horse's most recent ad came 7th of June at Belmont. One mile and an optional 100 claimer on the Widener lawn. He finished third by two and a quarter lengths. He just stalked most race. He couldn't get that good turn of foot. It wasn't the day to win, but that was a very tough race. The winner, Gitu, Gitu is a very good horse. Before that, he ran on the 14th of April at Oakland, a mile 16th in the fifth season, illicit stakes there, and he finished seventh by 11 and a quarter lengths. He set the pace but then he just kind of got overtaken and was just never into it at the end. It wasn't the day to win and then he ran him in the grade 2 New Orleans handicap. He did win at uh, at the fairgrounds the year before in the Louisiana Derby but in the New Orleans handicap this year he just could not keep up and he finished 6 by 8 and a half lengths and uh, you know that day he broke through the gate and uh, you know just never got into it um, and we can out of it. I like him back to the inner turf course today. The inner turf course favors a lot more front runners. If Jose is smart in this race, which doesn't have the, the strongest speed in it, I think he'd go to the front end and I think he could set some easy fractions and I think he can go, get away with it and win. He hasn't won since the um, Louisiana Derby of 2018, but he's run some decent races here and there and then some crap races like his Belmont and then his fifth season. But so I'm going to take a chance back to turf with this one. He was a uh, uh, gelded at the end of last season and for this year and uh, you know it's it's a class relief so at uh, seven to two i'll take him so to recap my selections for the seventh from belmont gonna go with three horse noble indy i'll go three five two six in the super facta so good luck to all please follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck everybody